I don't know if he used a condom, condom or not. Just let's say they had sex, they, she pregnant or whatever. You can't make her have an abortion, but he said he did offer her seventy five thousand dollars to have the abortion. Right. But guess what? She knows she gonna get more than that by having Probably a baby within three checks. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah, what I'm that, saying? that's what I'm saying. So, See, right, when you, you know, offer, so when, are you crazy? When you offer somebody that amount of money for an abortion, your ass better be there and watch that motherfucker happen. I need to be in the room when it happens. Well, we we can't. <laughs> but she we, told him we no. can't because of COVID. We can't. No, nah, nigga, I'm giving this bitch seventy five G's to have an abortion. I need to be there to make sure that to, to, to see for my own eyes. Because see, if I don't see it, then I don't think it happened. But see, the problem, the problem with with, with bros, man. You know, especially when they be doing dirt. They 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 tend to turn around and 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 do stupid shit. Like 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 what's what's that nigga name? Uh Tiger when he made the phone call. Oh, oh my goodness. I mean the chick you you you, you ought to know that the chick is gonna record your shit, bro. <laughs> or or with the text messages. You know the chick is gonna is gonna screenshot that shit. And all like that. Yeah. That's why I don't. That, that yeah. See me. That's why I don't text message too much. If I don't. If I don't. If I. If if I don't know you. Know you. I'm not gonna text message you. No. In, uh, no. No incriminating shit. It's just gonna be like simple. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Hey. What's going on? What you doing? Nothing. Where you going? Nowhere. Where you be? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is she, is she going to go? Is she going to go to Starbucks today? Nope. <laughs> so, what, what? Anything? Nothing. Same thing. Will you call me? You going to get me on the phone and all like that? Yo, lockout. What's going on? Hey, well, how you doing? So, uh, you heading down to Georgia? Nope. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you was heading down to Georgia. Nope. Why? <laughs> so, <laughs> so no. Uh, no, nah, we're 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 good. We're we're good. So, mm, not going to get me on it. I, you know, I have my I have my taste of controversy with uh with women. So I'm good. I'm good. I I learned. I I learned two. Two times over, by the way. So I, I learned my shit. So I'm good. But yeah. So I just think that you know, I have a I had a, have a lot of conversations with a lot of different men. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to talking to them, they all really like say the thing like, hey, we are men. This is how we are. This is what we do. Like it's all okay. Like it, like once a man say something is okay, oh, like it's okay. Like mm-hmm. it's okay. That like this is a, a discussion that we have at work. Why is it mm-hmm. men is so accepting to two women, but when it's a man. That is that way. Uh, here we go. They hate it. They don't want to be around. Like, oh, okay. because y'all say that y'all don't like it. Okay, wait, 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 so wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, go ahead. Are Are you talking about? Okay, are Are you just like what's that word? Polygamy type deal? No, 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 no. Are you talking about on the set side? Wait, wait, wait. On both, on both sides. Okay, so, because one side, one the 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 polemic, polemic, I can't pronounce it. Polemic, yeah, I yeah. know what you're saying. No, I know what you're talking about. Go on ahead. on that side, it's an agreement between parties. I mean, I I I don't get it, but 
Hey, whatever works. But on both but sides, on the, but on the other side, people. but on the on the other side, on the menage a trois side, how guys are accept, susceptible to two women versus uh two guys and two a woman. men and a woman. Yeah, two guys mm-hmm. and a woman. Yeah, I think I'm gonna feel some kind of way about that. <clears throat> No, that 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 that's no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Because no, yeah. no, no. Yes. No. Yes. You can't. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Not, I, I'm listen, good. I, listen. I do not. No, 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 no. I, I am. Uh, uh-uh. no, no. I am not double print. I'm not double penetrating. You, 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 I'm not gonna have. I'm not gonna be on the bottom, and the nigga gonna be on the back. We're not touching balls, bro. We're not doing that. We, we're not doing that. We no. You. I go first. I get I get my I get my kick on. And as a matter of fact, I go first in the room by myself. I'm good, bro. I don't need you to sit there and watch me while you jacking off, bro. I'm I'm all right on that. So yeah, once I get finished, then it's your turn. You go in there, do the damn thing and all like that. If if y'all want the double penetration, go ahead and bring out that little toy. You know, the, the the little mojo. You know, she can have that shit in her butt and you can be in the putty. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay. Oh. But for two I'm, women? I'm just saying. Two two women? Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there on the two women. I'm I'm just saying. Call 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 me what you want to call me, but I'm there on the two women. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm gonna call you anything. <laughs> We're just talking. But what I'm saying is, if men, okay, you, let's say all men, some men, okay, they put it out there to their girl, okay, can we have this threesome or whatever, you know, bring another girl in, spice it up. Right. The woman do it. Mm -hmm. But guess what the men do? Guess what the men do? Not only do they do it that day with the three of them, Mm -hmm. then they contact the girl to go see with a without a girl. See, that's that's fucked I, up. I get that a lot too. No, that's so fucked that's up. That's why. But most men. Okay, let me stop saying most. Some, a lot of men do it. I know several people who went ahead and did this with a guy or whatever. They it, it wasn't forced. They said it didn't matter. But what they did, man, was finding out that they guy was sleeping, kept sleeping with the girl. Just without her. So, to me, you know, sometimes. Do you, do you, know, you, do, you do you, do you think, do you think that's cheating? I think at the point when you go, when you do it without your girl and she doesn't know. At that point, it is cheating. See, it's okay that she she was accepting to the point where y'all were all together. Mm-hmm. But once you went outside of that, I think that's cheating. Mm. Now, what about you? You don't think that's cheating at that point? I think it's <laughs> fucked up that the guy, you know, if 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 your woman was susceptible to a uh, to a menage trial. Then y'all went on ahead and did it, you know, I like that. And and then after it's over with, if y'all don't, if y'all don't make this like a regular thing, like a regular Friday night deal, you know what I'm saying? Then, then if you decide to go outside and call, you know, call that female up without your girl. And you go and do it to the chick, then yeah, I, I, I would tend to think that's that's cheating on your girl because number one, your girl don't even know that you're going out messing around with with the chick. Now, if your girl is quote unquote all right with it, then no, I, I, I don't think that is cheating. But if your girl don't know about it, then yeah, yeah, especially if y'all don't. You know, like I said, especially if y'all don't make it a regular thing. 
you know, if y'all made it, if y'all make it a regular, I don't, I like, don't think oh, that should be a regular thing. Well, uh, okay. well, I mean, you know, some, me. I mean, you, me. right. I mean, you know, if you, if, if, you know, if you're doing this for your guy or something like that, and it's a, it's a one and done thing, y'all got to make sure that you and your guy got to make sure that, hey, this is a one and done thing. And th yeah, and that that's about it. But if you guys don't, well, you know what? Let me take this back. Only weak minded motherfuckers needs needs that that one and done speech. A real motherfucker don't. I mean, a real nigga will probably know that. Oh, okay. Well, my girl is is. Is doing the damn thing. She's we gonna do this and bam, bam, boom. Thank you. Please come again. But if you need that one and done conversation, then yeah, you you yeah. She she will already know that that nigga is gonna go ahead and step out on it. Now, when now correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. When a man gets married. He already knows through sickness and health, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so he already knows that that same thing, the same person that he has been having sex with, is the same person that he would have to keep having sex with for the rest of his life. One more thing: the same way that they've been having sex with, they've been having sex, that would be the same way usually that you would continue to have sex. So guess what? If you are a man who likes to, well, I don't want to say really, really bad things or whatever, but if you're a man who likes, I ain't going to say it's bad, really, really freaky things, I'll say that. And uh, you've been with your girl three and a half years, four years, and I used to marry and y'all ain't never did that. Do you? I know it's more to a marriage than sex or whatever, but if that's the thing you enjoy Shouldn't you find a partner to spend the rest of your life with that does those things that you like? Because I hear so many times, well, she, my wife didn't do this, so I went and got it somewhere else. Bro, you knew that your wife didn't do that when she was your girlfriend. Mm. But you still married her. But you still married her. All right, so let me... Go ahead. Let me interject interject on that all right so okay go ahead situations happens throughout life um y'all can uh y'all the the what was the word affection affectionate uh no um attraction the okay. attraction sometimes fades. The love sometimes fades. And you're absolutely right. Like some guys love their wives from from sickness and health, all that that the, all of that from the bottom of their heart. Some things that they don't want their wives to do. And they just feel that they could get it from a from an alternative measure. Like for example, you know, you know, y'all y'all two straight guys, you know, y'all y'all straight guys, y'all straight sets. Uh, you know, she on top, you on top, bam, bam, boom, done. All right. You know, you love your wife, but you don't want to fuck her in the ass, though. Ain't, ain't, ain't no, but you like ass fucking. But you don't want to fuck your wife in the ass because, you know, maybe your wife don't like to be fucked in the ass. I always thought that was some gay shit. But anyway, um, 
you have a, you 